Welcome back to Talk of the Town. With me now is Rob Cushman and Catherine Purcell from St. Luke's, and they are here to tell us about a job fair that they are holding. Welcome. Thank, Thank you for you. being here. So, Rob, we're going to start with you, and we're just going to have a little overview of the job fair. And, and, you know, somebody might ask right now, obviously, everybody's hiring, so why do we need a job fair? Thank you very much. We're delighted to be here. Uh, St. Luke's has had a very active prison ministry for many years. Um, where we have assisted the inmates in programs so they could be prepared to, when they finished their sentences to come back into society. Unfortunately, with COVID and the pandemic, all prisons have been locked down and therefore there's no opportunity to continue this ministry. So we started to think, how can we help people who need a second chance, who are getting out of prison, who are underemployed, unemployed. Well, we heard about a company, an organization in Florida called Better Together. And one of the members of our organization suggested that we go down for training in Florida to determine whether we wanted to try to do a job fair of yeah. this sort. I tell you, it was a remarkable experience. I've never seen so people so enthusiastic about something. Nice. This group have put on 90 job fairs, always sponsored by a church. They mm -hmm. feel that this is a faith-based driven organization and the people to support a job fair like this, if you do it through a church, is going to be able to meet the needs of putting on a job fair like yeah. this. So we put together a leadership team and are using the organization and the uh, communication system of this uh, Florida-based group. And we're moving towards providing this very, very, very special day. Um, I think Catherine will, can explain exactly what makes this a very unique opportunity. Well, obviously, it's very it, it's unique in in the scope of it to begin with, and so then I think it's a unique experience on that day, though. And you want to share with us what that's going to look like? Yeah, we're bringing together applicants and employers. Employers will be um, paying a minimal fee of twenty five dollars just to, to display. Um, we're offering several different types of services there, haircuts if people need some attention to grooming. Um, we're offering uh, job coaching, um, and then we will also be offering uh, interview clothing for those that may need something to, to wear for the interview and maybe take with them to, to work if they get a job. How amazing is that? That is really cool and such a fascinating idea. I'm really intrigued by this. So do you have people that are donating the clothes, donating the services? Are you looking for people to continue to do those things? Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. All of the above. Absolutely. We do have a couple of barbers set up. One lady's a barber and she also cuts ladies here too. Um, we have the church mouse who is helping us out. And then uh, we have several people that have donated, that are go going to donate their time in job coaching. So when is the job fair? Thank you for asking. You're welcome. <laughs> August 18th from 12 to 4. Okay. And it is at St. Luke's. It's at St. Luke's. Thank you. <laughs> yes. So let's talk a little bit about the, the training that you went through, because obviously, you know, when somebody says a job fair, you kind of just think, oh, we're going to put up a couple of booths and little tables and have some flyers. But this is really extensive that you've gone through this training to help these people. Tell us a little bit more about that and that experience. OK, well, the first thing is we have to find employers who are willing to understand that second chance means second chance. They have to have taken out off the blinders and say that things that it may have happened in somebody's life in the past precludes them from even interviewing. There's a perception out there by a lot of people yeah. who are afraid even to come. We're trying to break down those walls. Yeah. Get the right employers, talk to them, make them understand what they need to do. Finding the people who are there, where are they? We don't know. Exactly. Yeah, right. But the more we talk to you, the more we get the word out, the more comfortable everybody feels. Yes. I hate to say that you have a job fair is a celebration. This is all about celebrating. Yeah. 
bring the people in, make them feel good about themselves, give them uh, some support that they need to break through those self-perceived barriers so that when they come in, they feel comfortable. There is an ambassador there. That person takes them over to each one of the companies, depending on what, what type of job they would like to get. Um, if it so happens that somebody gets a job, a bell rings, everybody stops, everybody gets up and claps. Oh my gosh. And the person goes over and they put their hand into a, a little grab bag and in there are something fun. Yeah. Maybe a hundred dollars gift certificate to the church mouse or something like that, or a free haircut, or something just to make this a, a, a memorable day for them. Um, from having a Zoom conversations with eight or 10 churches, I looked at their faces as they described how it changed them when somebody got a job at that job fair. It just made me feel great. Well, I'm getting choked up thinking about it just sitting here with you right now. So how amazing is that? Thank you so much for being here to share about your job fair with us. August 18th, excuse me, at St. Luke's, and we'll be right back with more Talk of the Town.